All right, now, let's say Satan took over the world. Mm -hmm. Yet we know if Jesus came 2,000 years ago, he came supposedly 4,000 years after what Moses referred to as the fall of Adam and Eve, our first two parents, the first true man and woman, right? To procreate as human beings in the earth, in other words, right? Okay, <laughs> and whatever the sin was, it had something to do with a tree, okay? And eating of its fruit or not, right? That's all you know, right? <laughs> Whether that's a metaphoric tree or literal tree, the Bible kind of refers to it as either or. It could be one or the other. It's not specific of the kind of fruit tree it was, if it was a fruit tree. The only fruit tree mentioned is the fig tree from which they made leaves into aprons to cover their needy, by the way. Mm -hmm. That's the only fruit tree mentioned in the story by name. By name. <laughs> anyway, anyway. <laughs> the other two trees, one is called the tree of life and one is called the tree of not good and evil, by the way. Mm -hmm. Though God did say the man has become as one of us to know good and evil, whatever that may mean. Right. Okay. <laughs> you don't know what that means, I guess. Okay, maybe you don't want to know <laughs> who that one is who <laughs> showed us good and evil, huh? <laughs> or you're too dumb to know whatever you want to call it. <laughs> That's on you if you don't want to know, I guess, or but anyway, anyway, how long do you think he has to trick the world into following me? My theory is seven days or a week, right? <laughs> to the Lord, to the Lord. Now that 7,000 years, right, right, technically, because he, a day to the Lord is a thousand years, and a thousand years is as a day, <laughs> Or Adam would have died 24 hours after he eat of the fruit tree. <laughs> or whatever kind of tree it was he wasn't supposed to eat of. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's all you know about. That's all you really know about the story, too, right? And it has holes in it. It has huge gaps. One minute they're naming the animals. The next minute he's taking the woman out of the man. And then <laughs> they get married, right? <laughs> by the way, by becoming one flesh. They didn't have to sign a piece of paper, by the way, to be married. <laughs> or they were paired by their mom and dad, God, I guess, heaven and earth, however you want to be that. Mm -hmm. And again, right, <laughs> became one flesh, right, which denotes sex probably, and had babies, right, and even two, right. Now, does it tell you <laughs> how many babies they had and even know? <laughs> but it does tell you they were married. You know, the purpose of bringing the female and male together is procreation, usually. Silly. <laughs> or you could leave Adam alone. <laughs> I guess. I guess. <laughs> whatever that means, whatever that means. And then Adam blamed God in his life for mm, his part in the transgression. Right? And again, right, that's part of the problem too. Right? And he blamed the serpent. And, uh, and I guess the serpent left holding the bag, whoever he was. <laughs> mm -hmm. So there seems to be some kind of interaction between even something that could talk to her. <laughs> now, whether that something was hiding behind the fig tree or not, I don't know. I don't know. But it could have been. You know, most serpents don't have vocal cords to talk or communicate with, right? That's why they do Dr. Doolittle now, too, because someone's acting like animals, like a donkey or a snake, can talk <laughs> suddenly. Out the blue. <laughs> At least two animals, anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> one's a jackass and one's a serpent or something. <laughs> I guess. I guess. But anyway, my theory is he's given us 7,000 years, right? From the fall or whatever's going on, maybe, right? And we have one more thousand years, right? <laughs> to get it all together or right? understand Jesus, right? Now, here's the thing. After the thousand years, Satan is cast into the bottomless pit for a thousand years. And the millennial Christ, reign of Christ begins, right? Which is also a thousand years or a day to God, right? Mm -hmm. Now, after the thousand years, even the unjust people are resurrected with the just. Right? Now, my theory there is he gives you two more days to repent. Right? That's... 3,000 total, right? Three for the just and two for the unjust. Right? Hmm. <laughs> Does that sound fair? <laughs> At least, right? Now, my final theory is after the great white throne judgment, right? <laughs> if Satan don't repent, he's cast into the lake of fire. For 10,000 years. <laughs> if he led the people astray that long. You understand, right? See, God's given him 10,000 years to repent, maybe. Mm -hmm. That's my theory. <laughs> That's my theory. <laughs> Can't prove it to you or anything, right? It's just the theory I have. <laughs> right or wrong, it's all I can really see the scriptures. That kind of makes sense as to what we're going through now, right? <laughs> Believe me or not, right? So then after the thousand years, right? In the two thousand years, right? Is the great white throne judgment, right? And that's when... My final theory is everybody's cast into the lake of fire and Satan probably repents after the 10,000 years. But then what happens, right? Well, 10,000 years, he's with everybody normally. Now, the tempter tempts Adam and Eve, right? You know, like they forgot what tree it was they weren't supposed to eat of or something. Now, if Adam and Eve fall for it every time, what would that create over time? A loop. A loop. <laughs> In other words, for so long we follow Satan, for so long we follow Jesus, and for so long right, you're punished for it or you stay with Jesus, right? Right. Then after that, right, you're given another chance, a third chance, if you will, and then it can all start again, right, perhaps, perhaps. See, we're not aware of time, or we think this is our first time being here, but the problem with some kind of time loop, which is what I'm talking about, mm hmm is you're not even fully aware if you're in one or not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like you're coming out of darkness into light, and then you go back into the darkness, and then you come back out of the darkness, right? Right, ever so often, right? Now, either the conditions are as they are now, or... Hmm, they're better than they are now, right? See, that's the problem too, right? Whatever we're going through, we're all going through it together. <laughs> and whatever we're not going through, we're not going through together, right? Right. <laughs> if you understand what I mean there, right? If something bad is happening, for instance, in California, but not Georgia, right? Right. Does that mean the people in Georgia are behaving better than the people in California? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. 
It's weather patterns, right? We don't know how to control weather patterns, do we? No. <laughs> no. So, yeah, no. <laughs> Whatever's going on is something we can't really control or understand. And so we have to deal with it. Right. Kind of, you know, the best we can until, you know, we either survive it or it kills us, you know. That's true, too. Now, what we do when people die is we bury the dead, usually, usually, in a grave or something. Even Jesus was buried in a grave and rose from the dead, allegedly, right, to those who believe in him, right. Mm -hmm. And I believe and confess to be one of those believers 2,000 years later, right. And I think men slowly change beliefs over the 2,000 years, too. And that's why Jesus is calling you the lukewarm church today, right? Though he would that you were cold or hot, but you're lukewarm and he will then vomit you out his mouth. That's the problem, too, right? But he's got a backup plan, right, I think, right, to give everybody at least a second chance. Even the unjust people. Mm -hmm. He's that good of a god, right? <laughs> Whereas Satan is being the good and evil god, if you understand that reference as well. Mm -hmm. One tree is called the tree of life. The other tree, if you eat of its fruit, it'll kill you, right? <laughs> so don't you think that's the tree of death? <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. In other words, if you eat of that, Tree's fruit, it will cause you to die. Right. Right. <laughs> exactly. Right. But if you don't eat of it, right, the tree of life can save you from it. Right? Right. Whatever that means. Whatever that means. That's all on there, too. Right. <laughs> so there we go again. Right. And the thing about a loop is you're going around in the circles. Right. So long you're following Satan, so long you're following Jesus, so long, right? And it becomes a loop, right? And the thing is, if God keeps making things new, right, how perfect can it be than when he first made it the first time, right? And how imperfect does it take it to look billions of years old, or when did God even start all this process? Right. Billions of years ago, we don't know. Right. We just think we got here just this one time. <laughs> we think we got one life to live. Right. Or well, what if we've been living the same life in a loop? Right. Over and over again, just ignorant of where we're at. <laughs> Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Just a suggestion. <laughs> don't freak out on me. Because <laughs> I'm reading the whole Bible and you don't want to. You don't want to. <laughs> or I'm reading the Gnostic Gospels or the Book of Enoch and you don't want to read books like that. Your pastors don't want you to know this for some reason. <laughs> right. I know my pastors were trying to tell me if there was something wrong with my church in Georgia where I was raised for whatever reason he was doing that, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so if there's something wrong with my church, there might also be something wrong with his. <laughs> and he just didn't want to see all that. <laughs> that was wrong with everybody's church. Right? And so what I'm trying to do is use the Bible as a whole when... John mentions the seven seals and revelations, and I think I know what that means. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Talk to you later. Mm.